Hello and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where we are just uh, going to bed and uh, getting into a brand new day. Let's begin by gathering some resources and looking after our fields and monster friends. And once we've done that, we'll go tell Livia that the last of the rune crystals is now in place. And that's it for the herbs. Aha, uh -huh, it's raining, so no need to do any watering today. Ha! All right. That means we just need to gather ha! the resources and, nice. of course, look after Poppy and Dandy. going to be next in our quest line where the story is going to take us is it going to be some sort of a new dungeon or yes. um, I guess there are some old ones that we still haven't seen like the uh, more difficult version right. or depths of And it seems like there has been a trend of uh, huh. us having to go through the more difficult yes. version or depths of familiar dungeons. So um, maybe we'll get to explore the depths of uh, one of the dungeons that we haven't All right. yet explored the depths of. There aren't very many left, are there? I wonder. There's the uh, Bandit King's old base. And a Toll's End, of course. Oh, hello, Poppy and Dandy. And... What else? Are Atoll's right. End and Bandit yes. King's old base the only ones? We've been to the depths of Belfar Ruins and the Lava Cave yes. and the Crystal Cavern and the Forest of anything else but the uh, nice. Bandit King's right, old right. base and a tall send. Nice. Yes. I think those are the only two whose depths we haven't seen yet. Is grasslands, of course. All right, all, all right. Yes. But like, that is um, it doesn't really feel like a dungeon. It's such an open area, and yeah. All right. But anyway, that's a possibility, I guess, nice. as well. 
Wow, we got a lot of money. There, there. There, there. Let's see about poppies and dandies HP. A thousand four hundred and about nine hundred missing. Hmm. Let's give them both a healing potion. And we'll get that bamboo shoot. Yes. All right. I think that's everything. Oh, right. The animal products. Almost forgot. Nice. All right. Now I think that's everything. So let's go report to Livia. Actually, we do need to put some things away first. Whatever the new quest is, I'll probably want to get straight on it. And then I'll forget my inventory is full of material stone and lumber and herbs. So yeah, let's put stuff away first and then go talk to Livia. We'll put these in here and also the withered grass. And now we'll put the weeds into here. Let's make the flan. Ah, oh, we can actually add some antidote grass to this too. Now, we'll go report to Livia. Yeah, we don't really have anything else to cook. Put those in there and we'll sell the flan. And then it's time to go see the field captain. Actually, we have this greeny fire, so why not use it? There we go. I've completed my mission. Hello. Good work. Everything is back to normal for the time being. Right. Yes, but we can't rest yet. We have to search for my... What? 
What's happening? <laughs> Losing strength. M my runes are being absorbed. What was that? But that means Radea might be close by. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> What's the point? Scarlet? Mysteries, schemes, I'm sick of it all. What's wrong? I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. But it's all such a pain. Uh. And besides, who are you people? Captain Livia! What's happening to her? Hmm. I'm not certain. Well, uh, I'm going to check on everyone else. Okay. Whoa. Oh no! It's just like what happened to the silo. Is everyone alright? Priscilla! Everybody's acting weird. And I'm so tired. Do I know you? Her memories are fading. Is it because she's losing rune energy? She's fast asleep. <sighs> if this is happening to all the townspeople, I have to move quickly. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Let's take a little look around. Elsha. Elsha's bed. No, that's Elsha. Not just her bed. It smells of an adult overcome by Anui. Yeah, well I guess I can't really interact with Elsha then. Huh. So everyone in town is like that. We still have a quest marker at the silo. Let's pick up these herbs and go see what's up. Oops, not that way. Where's Scarlet? She mumbled something about not wanting to do any work and then trudged off to her quarters. Well? More importantly, what did you find out? Yes! The whole town's covered in mist and everyone is acting strange. Their memories are fading. I think it's the same thing that happened to me. Mm -hmm. Just when I thought we were done with amnesia. And Radea? Nowhere to be found. 
Um... Just what on earth is going on? Yes. I sense a mass exodus of rune energy converging on a catastrophic scale. Huh? The runes are moving. They're flowing from throughout the continent toward a single location. Radea may be summoning them indiscriminately. Does that mean that what we're seeing here in Rickpath is happening all over Norad? It's horrifying to imagine, but yes. Damn it! No, we have to stop it. Mm -hmm. But the runes are converging on a disturbing location. Where are they going? A tall's end. Deep in the abyss where even I dare not tread. I sense them flowing to the liminality, a boundary situated between this world and the next. I give up. There's nothing we can do. But we have to try, don't we? Lives are at stake here. If this keeps up, everyone will lose their memories, or worse. Yes. Like it or not, we don't have any other choice. The dangers of planar travel are unfathomable. If you set foot in that place, you may never return. I'd rather do what's right than regret doing nothing. Yeah. But surely... You're the one who told me to build a future free of regrets. Yes, well... Hmm, that makes sense. Have it your way. I won't try to stop you. But please, be careful, and make sure you return alive. That's an order. Yeah. Wow, everlasting darkness. That sounds intense. And if the whole town is... Being weird. Even Livia won't interact with us. I guess we're going to have to go by ourselves. Do we have enough? No. We still need 347 more points. Hmm. Well, I doubt we can deliver Murakumo the juice if he's being like the whole town. Comatose. I think this is a sword that we haven't yet made. And just in case we need an earth weapon. Um... Just checking here that, um... That we can't make a better weapon for ourselves. Kind of a little bit worried having to go alone into the everlasting darkness.
but, um, oh well. Let's, um, at least put this away, so we have a little more room in our inventory. And I guess there's really nothing else for it but to go check it out. The everlasting darkness. Let's see if the way there is through the boss area. I think it probably is. So we'll defeat the boss here and um, then go see about this everlasting darkness. Ah, it was the dragon mummy. Right. I had totally forgotten. Take that! And oh yeah, it starts out Take by that! just uh, walking around. Take that! Oh, I remember this. Have to keep out of the way of those. Though I don't think they would do me very much damage anymore at this point. Oh yeah, and have to try and dodge these. And this is something that I'm very bad at. It's back to just walking around. And there we go. Nice. It dropped a cotton cloth. Thanks very much, but um my armor is way better than that. Is it this way? Apparently, manner depths. There's just a room and a door. Well, I mean, let's save just in case, since it is giving us the opportunity. And uh, let's go into the everlasting darkness. Oh, I dislike this already. Can we go back to the forest? Hmm. Oh. Let's get these. All right. Nice. Well, if nothing else, there's good mining nice. here. Am I losing RP? Like, just by being here? 
because it looks nice, like nice. I am. All right. All right. So it's yes. kind of a place that you would want to race through, huh. is it? Huh. Which way? Let's try the uh, small room first. See what's up there. I am losing RP. Take some doing to um, to kill. Take that. Nice. So many of them. drops. Do we want to go in there or... Nice. Maybe we want to check out the other path. I know I'm losing RP here, but... This way? and repass. And the thing is, now that I'm out of RP, it's going to start taking my HP, isn't it? Like whenever I'd lose RP. So basically, every second I'm in here is going to cost me some HP, I think. Take that. Or All right. is it? Or is it just RP? Maybe it's just RP, and now that I'm at zero, it's not taking any because I don't have any. Joke. 
Paralyzing the enemies helps though. And I'm sure poisoning them would help too. makes them very slow moving. Time to eat! T time to eat! It's a good thing I have a lot of potions. Time to eat! Huh. 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 Up. Yes! All right! That's where the door... Oops. Well... Suddenly we are on uh, floor two. Well, um, we can always go get the treasures some other time. I'm sure that if I went back to floor one now... All the enemies would be back there as well. So let's just continue on the uh, second floor that we accidentally ended up in. I didn't actually mean to go through the door there. I just meant to see where it led and um, then go check out the uh, treasure door. But, alright, we are here now. Ouch! So, um, yeah, as I said, we'll check out the first floor treasure some other time. We can now teleport straight to the, straight to the first floor. And um, from there, it's quite simple to get to the treasure. We we'll just eat. need to go through two fights and um, through that one door that we didn't go through. All right, this should be pretty straightforward. No alternative paths or anything. Just uh, follow the uh, follow that one path and uh, try to survive. Those dark sorcerers sure are a pain, though. Pixies. Take that. Maybe seeing as this place is called Everlasting Darkness, the next time we come here, because I don't think we'll get all the way through this place um, during this run. So the next time we come here, may be a good idea, like before we come here, to look into something that give us something that gives us darkness resistance. Because yeah, it would be nice to take a little bit less damage from those dark sorceress attacks. Time to, time to eat. 
delicious. And of course, we'll also need to stock up on potions. Lots and lots of potions. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. Just when I finished uh, saying that this was going to be pretty straightforward. Alright. Let's go. And this time, we'll go the right way. This way. Oh, it's 3.50 p.m. already. Wow. I should end this episode soon. Ow. Okay, yeah. Darkness damage protection for sure. Um, if possible, for the next time we come here. like a ring of some sort that gave dark damage protection. Time to eat. I'll have to look into that. See if I can craft us one of those. Ooh, ultimate attack is now available on the short sword. drink. Time to eat! Time to eat! Time to eat! Delicious! Let's go! Yes! All right! Nice! And what is through that door. Third floor. Hmm. Should we go home and save the game now? Or take a little bit of a look at the third floor here? Just a little sneak peek. Okay, no alternative paths, just uh, follow the thing. Alright, it's quite windy, but um, yeah, at least. There are no alternative paths. Hmm. Should we take a little sneak peek? Or just go home? Let's take a little look, okay? Oh, of course, this is one of those battles that you can't escape. Well, now we are locked into defeating all of these things. So, 
Hopefully we can. I'm very much hoping that I nice. won't regret deciding to take a sneak peek. Jeez, I need to drink something again. I'm going to be going through a lot of my, well, almost all of my potions here, aren't I? And right away I lost the HP I just gained. This is pretty brutal. And so not fair, them being able to use spells and uh, me not having the RP to, to do so. So not fair. Ah, uh, I need uh, something that'll give me a lot of HP. Mm. Mystery potion? Sure. Time to eat. I need another mystery potion. Where did I put them? There they are. Oh, you guys heal too. That is it for our sneak peek here. Let's go home. So with everybody being out of commission, I don't think we can even take a bath, right? Murakumo is going to be out too. Wow. So, in order to recover our RP, I think we may have to teleport to various dungeon entrances and smash some rune crystals. Actually, these are items that we haven't shipped before. I think we'll want to sell them. The small crystal and the big stick or thick stick. And the black feather. Was that all of our new items? I think so, yeah. Actually, I don't think we want to sell anything. Right? Just in case we end up at the clinic. Though we kind of already have 
a whole load of money. Well? Let's go indoors and save the game here for now. In the next episode. Um, I'm probably going to go to some dungeon entrances and smash some rune crystals there and then try to find some herbs to gather so I can make more potions. I think that's a pretty solid plan, seeing as we can't buy anything because all the shopkeepers are, well, out. Um, right, for now. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.